Will you ask for more money to be sent to Texas to be hand, to handle this unprecedented uh, percent Texas desperately needs more money. I know the Republicans in the U.S. House have committed to providing Texas the money that we need. Hi, this is Alonzo Bowden with another Rebel HQ TYT video. And guess what? Texas needs money. How about that? Governor Greg Abbott begging for money from the federal government. Now, I'm going to tell you something. In comedy, quite often jokes write themselves. Something just happens and it in itself is funny. Well, guess what? Governor Abbott's begging the federal government for $4 billion. You know what costs $4 billion? The slowdown at the Texas border. Remember when he slowed down all commerce at the Texas border? Wouldn't let trucks come through, additional inspections, wasting time, wasting money. That came to, according to the uh, Perriman Group, which were Texas analysts, these were Texans checking on Texas, that slowdown cost $4 billion. That's right, $477 million a day. You see, Greg, stupid stunts cost money, and we're not even counting the money you and DeSantis spent sending immigrants up to the vice president's house or to Martha's Vineyard. That costs money. To stupid costs money, Greg. You got to budget it. You got to budget for your own stupid. We just finished over the past two years spending $4 billion of Texas taxpayer dollars for Texas to fill the gap caused uh, by the Biden administration. We're starting a session this next week uh, on uh, that we will add another $4 billion uh, to secure the border. Now, you say this gap was caused by the Biden administration, but exactly what gap was caused by the Biden administration? Why Why so vague? Why such nonsense? Was it, was it building the wall? Well, you know, you could have got some of that wall money from Steve Bannon. He collected it, remember? Oh, that's right, that's right. He pocketed that cash. Or maybe, and here, I'm just throwing this out there, Mr. Abbott, maybe you could do like other states and follow the Constitution. The states that understand that controlling the border is the federal government's job, not the state's job. You see, that's why we have a Constitution, to divide up the powers and protecting the country from foreign attacks or whatever else. That's part of the federal government's job. Now, you might not approve of the way they do it, but they seem to be doing okay. And you know who says they're doing okay? Your sheriffs. Yeah, that's right. All the border towns in Texas, all the sheriffs said, there's no crime problem. They don't know what you guys are talking about. This is all political, isn't it, Greg? It's all trying to make the federal government look bad while doing your own thing. You can do your own thing, but how about you spend your own money while doing it? Just throwing that out there. Begging the federal government, you should be ashamed. Where are your bootstraps? Here's another thing, Greg, and you're not going to like this at all. You know who doesn't need money? California. That's right. That's right. Us libtards out west. We don't need any money. As a matter of fact, Greg, we're paying the excess into the federal government that you're begging for. If it were up to me, we would change our pronoun and just make you say it just to get some cash. We would make you admit that Latinos are human beings who deserve respect and deserve rights. We might even make you give women autonomy over their bodies. Ooh, that would be painful for you, wouldn't it, Greg? That would be an effort to get money. That would be like working for money. Greg, earning it. <laughs> yeah, because what you're doing right now, it really is kind of embarrassing. You're begging. You're looking for a hand. I dare I say, Greg, you expect an entitlement just for being the great state of Texas. Well, what if we Californians had the opportunity to think about it? It would get kind of tough for you, wouldn't it? Here's another idea, Greg, and, and I'm just throwing things out here, just spitballing, you know what I mean? Tax it. That's right. Maybe you need to start charging a state tax to the residents that live in your state. Maybe now you see why other states charge state taxes. That's how you pay expenses. This Republican fantasy of lowering taxes while continuing to spend money just doesn't work. Doesn't work. Greg, Greg, think about a house, okay? If a house has less money coming in and they keep spending the same amount of money, at some point it's going to end. And then you have to beg the federal government for a handout. Oh, let an individual do that. Let a minority individual do that. And that's the worst thing ever. But that's what you're doing right now as a state. You're begging the federal government for help because you don't have any income. Only thing is, you have a choice in this. So you could charge state taxes or maybe tax those corporations that you're giving tax breaks to so that they'll leave California and come to Texas and be free. Apparently, it ain't so free, is it? <laughs> 
finally, and I'm just throwing this out here, Greg, again, just spitballing, sell your guns. That's right. You've got tons of guns, tons and tons of guns. You brag about the guns. He got a gun. She got a gun. Everybody got a gun. Everybody got two, three, maybe five guns. Well, maybe they can get by with three guns, sell two of them. I don't know how that gun thing works, but there might be some cash in it. Okay, okay, Greg, I know you're not going to do any of that. So we in California will once again bail your sorry asses out. Keep begging. We'll toss you some of our scraps. You know why? Because we make money. Our economy's number four. You're in the world, by the way, in the world. Yours is down there at number 11. You know what? Four is better. Sorry, Greg. And uh, yeah, we have a border too. Ha, ha, ha.